Okay, so I'm going to do a uh, review or actually update on the Klausi um, portable closet, right? If you remember, Noelle and I put this together and we were not really sure what we were doing at the time. Um, and what we did was, is based on the diagram, you were supposed to have one, two, three, four, five spaces up. However, we did not have enough room for five spaces up because of our roof. And because it's basically kind of like a curved in roof, right? So if you see there, it's, you can't tell. Anyway, so this is basically an update to that. Now, to give you a refresher, these are all built with this particular type of little peg system, right? You actually push this in and you put these in, you stick them together. And someone had asked me a while ago, how well are these holding up? Because they were just concerned. There were people who would say that they would fall off of the, um, they would fall apart or that they would separate from the wall and different things like that, right? Well, we have not had that issue. Um, these have not fallen over and I don't think it matters that we have them and I'm not showing you up here because it's just messy up there. Sorry. It is just messy, but <laughs> I'm just being honest, but we haven't had an issue of it tilting or falling over, right? That has not been an issue. When they give you this, they give you these little panels that are for the door and you can kind of see through them. You can see Noel's shirt. You have the little hook here that you can use to open. They have these little white uh, zip ties that come with it that you can make this one complete door that opens, or you can make it where it's individual doors that actually open, right? So with this one, it's just one door that's opening. So this black piece, and it's not very sturdy, right? But this black piece is kind of what forms the outside shell and the inside uh, areas, right? So because this is the hanging area, you literally just have uh, no shells in here. Whereas with this one, sorry, you have a shelf, right? Now the question is, is, and this one actually came off back here. Now Noelle put this side together and I'm going to show you what happens when you don't use zip ties. I went through and I zip tied everything. I kind of build everything really, really, I overbuild things. I zip tied this and this, I zip tied all the frames and she didn't do that. So what happens is this, she doesn't have a lot of weight in here, but she doesn't have the zip tied in. So this side here, she put this whole side together herself. And there's certain areas where she didn't zip tie it and she thought it would be fine. But the problem is, is if you don't zip tie this, it will definitely start to fall apart. Now that's just a fact. Now I did it at the time, just being skeptical of this. So I zip tied everything. Okay. So if you notice, right, let me see if I can get up here, right here. I zip tied, I cut the zip tie part off, I zip tied all of these areas here. There's basically three metal pieces, right? I zip tied those so it can stay together. I hammered this in with the hammer that they give you really well. I then went through and zip tied right here everywhere. So I did this on the front, the back, every single section. If you were to add up the number of zip ties I used, I couldn't even begin to tell you. I used a lot. Um, well over a hundred. So you're going to need a lot of zip ties. Try to get the smaller ones because you can't really notice these. If you were standing here looking, you wouldn't notice these unless you go up close. Now, I do have some bigger zip ties, which are right here. I ran out of the small ones, and you can see that, but I clipped it off. These big ones hold well as well. This has not moved. This is my area, and it has not moved whatsoever. There's nothing that has shimmied or shifted or broken or any of that. It's actually stayed the same as it has. 
the weight factor. How much weight can it hold? Well, I mean, look at Noelle's. She's going to be mad at me, but look at Noelle's uh, <laughs> dresses and things like that and shirts, right? This is one of the uh, closets. She has two that are hanging up. The other one looks a lot. It's it's jammed. Okay, it's there's a lot of stuff in there. Those little um, bars can hold quite a bit of weight. We were skeptical. Because really, it's just, you can see it kind of buckling a little bit, right? But there's a bunch of stuff on top, too. But to be honest with you, um, they have these metal support rods right there, the white piece. That's going down, so that actually helps with the weight, right? It kind of splits that weight up a little bit. But that support bar can actually hold quite a bit of weight. If I had to guess, I would say there's about a dozen dresses in there, probably a little more than a dozen over here. And it can support the weight of all those clothes with no problem. Same thing with mine. The shelves themselves, mine looks bad, okay? I put my clothes away and it looks bad. I'm not going to show you mine. It's too messy. Let me see if I can find a good one of Noelle's that's not messy. No, I can't. <laughs> I'm being honest, I can't. But uh, we just throw our crap in there, okay? But when it comes to the shelves, they can support quite a bit of weight, okay? Um, this is the bottom of her hanging closet. She has two and I have two. Um, these little shelves can really hold a tremendous amount of weight. Um, and when I say tremendous amount, I literally have mine filled from here all the way up to here with clothes front and back uh, that are folded. So it does not um, it does not buckle, it does not pop, it doesn't do anything. It can support a lot of weight. However, you need to zip tie it. So in other words, this material is very sturdy. It's pretty strong. It looks flimsy, but it's really pretty strong. The weaknesses of this and the things that I don't like are these deals. These little guys, once you get them in there and they're in there, they stay. If you don't get them in there and you start to strip them down, if you can see there's little ruts in there. If you put these in and it keeps moving back and forth too much, it's going to wear those grooves out and it's going to easily slide out. And you want to make sure when you get these in, you get them in good the first time, hammer them in very well. So therefore you don't end up with something like excuse me, what happened back there where it literally popped out? None of that back there is secured. If you notice, her shelf is not secured. And I did this on purpose so that you can actually see. Now, here's what I did do. Up here, I did zip tie that uh, to start it off with. And I told her, hey, and I did this side. Make sure that you zip tie these, right? For whatever reason, she didn't want to zip tie the back of that. And so what I'm going to do is go through and try to fix that so that it doesn't collapse. The problem is, is that once it starts to fall, it just kind of cascades down. And so the others start to fall and they start to give way. Um, there's no damage there. What you're saying is the reflection from that onto this. But uh, once that happens, you have to make sure that you shore that up because you put any more weight in here, it's going to fall. The reason why this one hasn't fall, fell is because there's a zip tie here. She put one here on the end, but she didn't put one. And you can tell it's Noelle's because she didn't clip hers off. Um, there's a white zip tie up there. I don't know why she put that. And then she's got a big gigantic one back there. <laughs> but this is not to make fun of Noelle, right? She put a zip tie back there on this side, but not right here. So if it were me, I would put a zip tie here, here, and here. All three corners, because you want to make sure, and in this case, you want to put it in all four corners. So here, 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 and right over here on the other side. You want to zip tie all of those, because again, if you don't, the weight of the clothes, even if you had less, because we have a lot, right? Um, the weight will push those out. Now, what we're going to do is actually, um, it's not a big deal because we're going to be replacing these. We're going to be going with uh, a different 
set of furniture. This was just kind of temporary. And so um, what we're going to do is literally have a completely different setup. And this can just be extra storage for things that are just seasonal, right? Excuse me. But uh, we even have shoes even at the bottom down there. So those bottom ones hold our shoes because we figure we can put shoes and sandals and flip-flops and things that we're not going to use quite often down on the bottom. But what we're going to put in here in the meantime is going to be a whole lot better setup uh, than this. But I wanted to do an update uh, because I know that people have asked, uh, how are these holding up? They're still holding up pretty well. They hold even crap on top. And I don't want to show you because it, it, trust me, there's a lot of crap. Um, but we're not that super organized. I mean, it's just, that's just how it is. We're not organized, but I don't want to show you the massive, it's not a massive mess, but it's just, there's some blankets up there, um, that were folded, but then sweets messes with stuff and throws it up there. So it's stuff like that. Um, old pants that the, that sweets doesn't wear anymore like this. Sweets can't wear these anymore, right? But that's just laying up there so that we can actually throw it away or give it away or something. But that's up there. It's stuff like that. Um, but anyhow, it can support quite a bit of weight on top, on the sides, each individual shelf. If you were looking for uh, a closet alternative, I would suggest this, right? I would suggest it. As far as long term, and when I say long term, I'm saying greater than five years, I would not go with this, to be honest with you. This would be good for a good five years. After a while, it does get a little old. Um, not that I have any problems. It's just that when you close these, sometimes this side here is not going to close well because, again, this is off center because of that issue. This side here is a better one. But the problem is, if you don't have all your clothes in there good, you have that issue, right? And if you're walking by, you're going to hit into that. That's the thing that I'm talking about when it when I say it gets old. Everything has to be tucked in because if it's not tucked in, it's going to, and then even that, you're going to have that issue, right? So with mine, it's the direct opposite. It has shifted because over here, everything's tight, so it stays firm, but... There's certain ones that don't. So it that to me gets old. Um, if I could offer a suggestion for the company, I would make the product a little bit more sturdier. It's not so much the wire brackets. It's these guys. These deals right here are the issue. Uh, only because if you're not careful, this will wear out very quickly, even while you're trying to assemble it. And if you make a mistake and put it on incorrectly or whatever the case those little grooves start to wear out and just a little bit of wear uh, and then you put weight on it, you're going to have them pop out. The other issue is you have to zip tie. You shouldn't have to zip tie. Now, again, I went crazy with zip ties, but nothing has happened in the time that I've had this up and I've had it up for over a year. Um, the only other thing is just the zip ties. You shouldn't have to zip tie it, I don't think, in order for it to definitely stay. Uh, stability, there should be a strong stability bar across the top that goes the full length where you can anchor that to a wall. So therefore this thing does not fall over. So there should be some sort of a frame that you can actually put the structure in and, or a frame, just a, a rectangle frame that you can easily adjust and change based on the dimensions of someone's room. And then these should be able to be uh, boxes that you can slide in and then um, I think it would be a whole lot better than what this is but I want to do an update on this overall I like it I would still suggest it for folks especially if you're in college or if you need extra storage for clothing I would definitely suggest this um, it wouldn't be a permanent fix it would be something that's kind of temporary um, because otherwise it kind of gets that gets kind of old I would imagine after a few years these little deals are going to wear out. I'm not afraid of the frame or even this. I'm not afraid of this or the black piece. Um, I'm not even afraid of that is what I mean. Those are good. It's these. But anyhow, make sure you join our Discord, uh, which is going to be down in the description box below. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. And until next time, I will see you. Take care.